Hey, hello, Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're going to be doing a really cool video. Uh, this one is one I've used a few times in the past. I, I would like to use it more often, but a lot of times I just can't find a reason to, but it's just something really cool, and that is Tree View. In case you don't know what a tree view is, normally we start by showing you the script first, but we're going to start by actually showing you the uh, program. So we're going to run that. And there is our tree view. So as you see, tree view is pretty simple. It's this right here. And this is right here is just an edit box, you know. But here in tree view, we can click on stuff and we get, you know, basically a tree, like branches off. And then when I click on something certain, like uh, one of these, uh, they're called child, it's going to show whatever I have that I want when I say, hey, I click this in the edit box display this. So as you see, you know, I got some stuff here. Double click again to go smaller, or you can click the minus signs for a single click. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, take a look at the code. Now that we got a better visual of what we're talking about here. Oh, I have a space there. So we're starting with our GUI creation. Obviously that was a GUI. And uh, here I have number two. Uh, that's because I had this in other code uh, that I just copied and pasted over here uh, for basically my uh, auto hotkey IDE that I created. Uh, this is the second GUI that I created. So that's why that two is there. It doesn't have to be there if you want to just delete all of them. Uh, I'm just leaving it there. It's kind of a cool thing for you guys to know how that's done, too. Add tree view. And these are just our coordinates, which, you know, basically is just create the box here. Our value is going to be my tree view. And go G is going to be my tree view. Keep it simple. Uh, so basically what that does is anytime I push, I click on something in there. It's going to go to the go my view. So we'll get back to that here in just a little bit. Let's create our list first, though. So here we got toggles, and that's just what I named them. So as you see, the first one's called toggle. So I just put a note there to remind me that it's toggle. I mean, you don't have to because technically it's right there. But I like having the note there to help divide stuff up a little better. So we're doing P1, and that stands for parent1. Down here is our regex. We're calling that parent2. And the settings, parent3. So that's our, you know, I keep closing this GUI. That's our toggle, parent1, regex, parent2, settings, parent3. Pretty straightforward. So now we go down a level. Let's click on toggle. So down here, we got toggle if and toggle while. While. Wow. Why can't I say that correctly? Um, so we're calling that parent1 because we want to connect it to the toggle uh, list name. And then we're then going to put it at the end, child1. <clears throat> we're going to do TV add, tree view add. And then what we want to call it, we're putting those in uh, parentheses and uh, quotations, toggle if. And then we're connecting it. And this is where it's actually being connected. It's P1. So that's telling it where to actually connect to. Now, if we wanted to go even deeper, you know, toggle if, maybe we wanted two more options there. You just do the same thing, but you would do P1. Uh, and you could do like, I usually do grand, where I'll put like grand one, like grandfather or grandmother. So I'll do like G1, and then I'll do like, child one or your c1 c1 like it's you know this is more organized but you can honestly do it however you want if you want to do like a full family tree um, style thing um <clears throat> so basically everything is the same you know this one's just called regex it's connected to p2 it's called next word that's p2 child one same with settings blah 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 so now that's in the middle of our gui so now we want to complete our GUI. So here, I'm going to change the font size to 12. And I'm going to add a edit box. And we just have a value of selected sample. And then we show our actual GUI. So this displays it, 
coordinates of where how big we want it and the title age case samples i've done plenty of gooey videos so i'm not breaking these down too too much now back up to here every time i click on that list box it goes to my tree view and that's right here so what it's doing here it's saying if a gooey event is not a selection basically I didn't select one of these. I clicked, you know, down here in the middle. I didn't actually create, do a selection. So if, basically, if the event that happened in that field was basically nothing of importance, return. That's just I say, stop. Don't do anything more. Because obviously he didn't do anything of importance. But let's say I do click on something. I click on one of those item names. TV underscore get text in parentheses selected item text a event info and that's basically saying get the information of what I just did like what did he just do what's uh, what's the text that he clicked on you know that kind of thing so the first one is the toggles if you remember so now here, I just basically have a bunch of if statements. Now this looks kind of like a mess, but hopefully you can kind of grasp this. Because it's weird because I have other code in here that's not actually part of my script. It's a variable. And I'll show you, explain that here, hopefully. So if the selected item text equals toggle if. So that's right here. So if I click on toggle if, you see it just did something. That's basically saying, if I actually clicked on that, the selected sample, <clears throat> which is that variable we have up in our GUI for our edit box, is going to be this. So this is our variable. <laughs> so this is code that's not actually running in my script. That's what's going to end up being displayed here so that I can copy and paste this. This is basically a fast way for her to get me to get code that I use a lot without having to code. Um, that kind of thing. So it's, uh, you know, that's why it's called AHK samples. And that basically is in parentheses like this. That way it keeps its formatting where it has the tabs and everything. Then we're going to do a GUI control, selected sample, use selected sample. And that's basically saying change the edit box to whatever this variable was. And then we're done. Stop. Well, if it doesn't equal toggle if, maybe I click toggle while, it's going to skip down here, and it's going to do the exact same thing. And that's all this code is right here, it's just all the different types of examples I have, and it telling it what to change the edit box based on what I've done. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, want me to somehow expand on this, this is something I love using because it's just... It's so slick looking and kind of has that old Windows vibe to it for settings and stuff. <clears throat> Definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit the bell notification. Always helps me out with something so simple for you guys to do, hopefully. And yeah, I will see you all on the next video.